Good morning, boys. Good morning, Mom. Oh, I know. He's torn. He says, do I run to the gate and play with my sister or keep getting my hugs? These are some sleepy eyes still. Well, he said, I was taking my mid-morning nap, Mom. Hi, buddy. I worked early this morning. I know. I heard you. Hi. Hey, I just saw an update on your sister. Yeah. yeah. She's doing okay. Her poor paw grew a little backwards, didn't it? It grew a little upside down. Hey guys, welcome back to KNS Get Out. It's Kyle and Shannon. Shannon. K and S. Shannon tried to confuse you last time, sorry. Yeah, it's all my fault. We have another very great weather day for here in mid-January yeah. in the middle of the United States. And so we're gonna take advantage of it. Absolutely. I've got to get back on that framing. I've got to defeat those walls and I've got to get that shed done. That's my goal today. I, that's, I'm focused on that. That's awesome. Yeah. If you need my help, I'll help you, but I'll try to stay out of your way. Shannon's going to help me with the shed today. Okay. <laughs> Just stand up a couple walls with me and then we'll move on. Okay. But first, I don't know if you can hear these guys behind us. Nala is driving the furry ones wild. Yep. Oh wait, she's the furry driving the furry wild. So we're going to get some food in their bellies. We're going to get the two dogs out on the trail. We're going to burn a little bit of their energy before we get going. And uh, then we're just going to get to it. Yeah. Can we just sit and hang out for a little bit? Will Daddy get your food? Hmm? Hi. I don't need any kisses. I appreciate it. But I do not need kisses today. I will take hugs. Yes, I will. I will take hugs. Paw prints. Every day. Can't go without them. Look at you, you got some mad fly skills. You're so handsome. Yes, you are. You're very snorty today. Gentlemen. Oh, we need to get him some more hay. I just gave him that yesterday. They are going through the hay. Weege, come on, bud. Over in your feeder. That a boy. And the peaceful eating. The two feeders have been fantastic. Yes, they have been. You know, even with the two feeders in here, if when I first pour it, Luigi will be over here with Mario and they both can eat out of the same feeder. It does have two sections in it and they have no problem. So Luigi will come over here and eat with Mario. Everything's good, vice versa. Everything's good. Something about just putting the food down in the bottom of that feeder did not work out that way. Now, of course, when Mario finishes before Luigi, he goes and checks to see if Luigi has anything left or if Luigi gets done first and he goes and helps Mario. But two feeders, solution all day. Yep. Good job, boys. You're doing great. These bellies are looking good, feeling good. What do you think, Herc? What do you think? He says, who cares about their bellies? Let's go on the trail. <laughs> Did you eat all your food? Did you get it all? Oh, do you think I have treats or something? Did you want goat treats too? Are you thinking you're a little goaty today? I put a dog bone in your food bowl over there, buddy. You don't, they're goat treats. Get off me, get off me. He says, I will take any treats. Goat treats, elephant, rabbit treats, squirrel treats. Whatever you want to give, he'll take them. Hey, you have a begging problem, Mr. Mario. So if you guys have been with us for a while, you know the setup. The Herc Hut and the Pallet Perch came first, and then Shannon and I built the shelter before we could get these guys out here because we knew the cold was coming. So. That's ew. gross. <laughs> That's a Herc kiss. He's trying to do it to your pant leg right now. Yeah. So this is his house, and he doesn't really let the goats in there. They try to go in every so often. I've seen Luigi go in. Hercules comes in with him. And then all of a sudden Luigi will spit out because I assume he just annoys him too much. So Hercules doesn't want his house moved. He loves it right there. That's what we're doing until he tells us otherwise. 
However, this is what we come down to most days. So, you know, we're trying to find the best solution basically to avoid this. You know, I, he could eat, we could put something up on the wall in there and he could eat in the shelter with them. It's just, we have a little bit less visibility from up here to know if they're trying to eat his food. And so far they've not, it's been great. But Mario occasionally gets bored and will just flip the food over for no reason. Or Hercules will do it. So I think Shannon is gonna try to find a solution, at least something maybe we can start out getting it up off the ground in here. We did have that little, it was just a very cheaply made metal frame, some weak metal that he used when he was younger. <laughs> But that we'd come out here and both of those bowls would be who knows where. And then he would completely to find flip them over. Yeah, that basically just begged him to do it. So we want something that the bowl can set down in, a little bit harder for him to get out, but we can still get it out and clean it for him. If you have animals, you know how gross their bowls get. So sometimes they just have to be <laughs> cleaned out. Don't they, Herc? He says, just give me attention and take me on the trail. He's like, I know how to fix Nola's problem. Let's go for a walk and we'll burn the energy. I'm fresh out of treats, guys. Let's go hit the trails. What do you say? Are you ready for that? Do you want to go for a walk, Kirk? I don't know. You guys don't always see the end of the trail walks, but as you could imagine, some days it's very difficult to get Hercules to want to come back in the pen. And some days you have to carry him from about 100 feet that way. <laughs> over to the pen. But yesterday, he came in no problem. I mean, I opened the gate and he's like, oh, excuse me, coming through. And you know, sometimes he misses these guys and sometimes he wants more time away from them. But overall, I mean, I know he's happy and he loves the pen. It's just, that's still something we're working on. We don't really have a good way to coax him back in. Yeah. He loves freedom more than he loves peanut butter, doesn't he? He sure does. <laughs> yeah. Can you eat some of your food before we go? Thank you. We'll get your food on the ground with the little goat pellets in it cleaned up when we get back. Is that okay? Yeah, you got clean food in your bowl. Why don't you just eat on that? I don't need you eating my clothes today. Yeah, I don't need you to eat my clothes. Mario, you smell like a farm animal, dude. Somebody asked if, if I was still gonna pet him after he started peeing on himself. And I honestly, I don't know if he's peeing on himself because I can't smell it. So for right now, I'm still petting him. Well, I have yet to catch him peeing directly on his goatee, but I have absolutely caught him peeing down on the straw and then rubbing his face in it. He's a little gross, but we still love him and we just wash our hands when we get back up to the camper. He's a goat. Yep. He does try to play with me a little bit, puts his horns on me sometimes, nothing too violent, but you know, he knows I'm the food provider. He knows not to just sneakily come up behind me and hit me. He's a really good goat. He's very good. He's still trying to train up Luigi to be, you know, mini Rocky. A play partner. <laughs> yeah, but, but I just don't. Luigi's horns may get a little bit longer, but he's just, the poor guy just, it ain't, he ain't developing the same way. You gonna go on the trail, Bubba? You gonna go get sister and take her on the trail? Yeah, I know it. I know it. He knows that word, sister. Sister. Oh, he does. And she knows brothers. All right, Bubba, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, squirrely hug. I like it. Speaking of squirrel, you guys are going to find that squirrel. <laughs> he says, I love you. Don't even know why I shower. <laughs> I don't even know why. Do you, buddy? He's... He says, I don't. You ready? Are you ready? You're trying to do a torpedo on me. Let's not do that. Okay. Here you go get your sister. Come on. Let's go see your sister. There's a good boy. Let's go find her. Go, 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 go. Hey, Nala, you want to go on a trail walk? That's a good girl. I got that tongue hanging. You guys want to go on a trail walk? Come on, you know the way. Hey, have you guys ever heard of that Tom Brady guy? I don't know, they call him a goat or something. We got a couple of goats, so I can tell you right now, I like mine more than that guy. I have to admit, <laughs> Tom Brady got knocked out of the playoffs last night by the Cowboys, no thanks to their kicker. But if you're a Cowboys fan at all, or just a non-Tom Brady fan, it was a pretty good game. This Cowboys fan is pretty stinking happy today. I'm sorry, Tom Brady fans, if you exist. So Kathy, yeah, it was a great night last night. Kyle was super happy about that. 
I was even thinking of Kathy. Like, as it was happening last night, I was like, I really hope Kathy is sitting there smiling, watching this, just thinking, maybe, just maybe, Kyle's sitting there thinking that Kathy is sitting there thinking this is great. I was. Totally <laughs> thinking of you, Kathy. That was a good night. It was a good football night. Hey, come on, bring your tails, let's go. Look at how fast he is. Oh, he's chasing birds. You know, that's something we're going to need some advice on, guys. We come to you so much, and you guys have pulled through every single time. But how do we do this with free-range chickens? There's no way if he makes up his mind to have a little chicken snack, a little chicken tendy, maybe a chicken nuggy. There's no way we're stopping him. It ain't happening. And I, I honestly, I cannot fathom a situation where we have chickens roaming freely and he just coexists with them. What do you I think? mean, he might, but I don't know. I mean, I remember when he was little, I took him in dad's chicken coop and we were feeding and he did great in the beginning, but those chickens were about half his size, maybe a third. And so- They it, weren't half his size. He was size. a little guy. He, he was, was just not a that little tyke. Oh, well, let's go back. Let's pull that footage of him in the coop with me. He yeah. was small, man. I know, but- He was half Nala size, remember? Okay. So uh, he did well, but as he got a little bit older, a little more energetic and a little more puppy, I felt like those chickens were potentially in danger. So <laughs> we quit doing that and he never really had a big problem. He didn't really bother dads that he kept in the run, but the free rangers and him, they had a, a heyday. So I don't know. I don't know. Do you also want to cut down that tree behind you? I'm not going to cut that down, but I am going to come over here and do some cleanup work. Why won't you cut down that tree? <laughs> Honey, I would never take away an opportunity from you to cut down a dead tree. So I've kind of been on an ax kick, especially since cutting down those last trees. And so of course I've been watching videos and re researching and all of that, but I kind of want to cut down a tree with an ax, like the whole tree. I want to fell the tree with an ax. No, not as big as the ones I cut down in the last video with the chainsaw, because that would take forever. But I just thought, man, that would, that would feel cool. That'd be a good thing to be able to put on your belt, you know? Like, yeah, cut down a tree with an ax. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's part of the city to country conversion. An old, old manual tool. What if we run out of fuel? What if we run out of oil? Look. Yeah, you knew right where it was, didn't you, bud? He says, look what I found. He's like, do I go show my sister and brag or is it just gonna make her wanna try to take it? Paula. <laughs> uh, what were you drink in the world? Were you drinking some muddy water? Is it in your nose? Yeah, we need to blow your nose now, don't we? Seriously, Nala. Herc says, look what happens though if you don't go sniff in the dirt, you find bones. He's so proud of himself in that bone. Oh yeah. I'd kind of rather him bury it out here than in his pen. I don't think she's gonna let him though. I don't think she's gonna let him either. He's looking though. Herc found him a pretty big bone. I don't, I don't know what it's from, probably a deer. He's very proud of it, but now he's looking for a place to bury it and Nala ruins every spot. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. dropped it. Is he going to leave it? <laughs> Come on, Bubba! Woo! <laughs> Guys! He took her out! He's like, no, I was going a hundred! <laughs> Are you okay, Nola? Everybody good. Everybody good. Yeah. 
You're so fast, mister. Sorry, Nala. You okay, Null Bear? Got no brakes when I'm in super fast mode. He just took her out. She's like, yeah. I might go in and take a nap after that. Yeah, you jerk. So we've got these piles that we made last season with the skid steers. Remember we had the two massive ones down there? Yeah. I split them up and put them in more manageable burn piles. That one I tried to put more feasible firewood in. And I thought, yeah, I'll go through that and split that up and cut it up and all that stuff. And I think it's worthy. These two, there's plenty of wood in here that I could pull out and we could use for bonfires and stuff. But at this point, we have so much all over the land that I kind of just want this area clean. What do you think? I would really like this to be cleared up. Well, yesterday we had terrible winds, anywhere from 15 to 20 miles an hour, gusting up to almost 50. So absolutely no burning in the area. It's just not wise. Today, our winds are staying below 10 miles an hour, and that gives us just enough to kind of keep the fuel going through the fire and everything good. I think we burn a couple. What do you think? I say we burn them. Let's I mean, get it started. I mean, they're just going to smolder. It all started with me just wanting to burn some trash. And then <laughs> you were like, hey. Well, let's light it on that side since the breeze is kind of coming that way. And we'll let it carry the flame through. Okay. We might see how well that one goes up first. And then start this one either the same way or the opposite direction, depending on how we want to manage it. Okay. I know you can't really see it very well in the camera, but this tree that I was pulling all these vines and stuff off of, these are thorns. I couldn't really get a good grip on them because check out those thorns. That did not feel very good on my fingers. So I had to be very selective about where I was grabbing and how I was pulling it down. I'm sure I have stuff all over my face, but that's just some of the cleanup work you can't do that during the summer you can only do it in the winter so I have piles everywhere that I have made <laughs> things I've pulled out of trees kind of cut up and now I'm just gonna try to pick it up and put it all in a pile to burn
man, I am a little sad today. Doesn't happen very often, but it happened. My leg is being silly. We've just gone nonstop for the last, I don't know how long, and for some reason decided to not feel good today, like to put any pressure on it. On the day when it's super nice weather. Yeah, finally, the wind died down. We just have a very mild breeze. It's 60 some odd degrees. I mean, could not have been a better day to frame, but I went up and tried to stand up the walls and do some other stuff and drop the wall one time and all that good stuff. So my intelligent wife made the right decision for me and said, no framing for you today. Because the day is not lost. Let's put it that way. The day is not lost. We lit those two fires that we had up there and Shannon has been rocking it today, cleaning up our driveway. We're just trying to get and stay ahead of spring. I know there's gonna be cleanup and stuff to do all year round every year for the eternity of this land. However, we've learned because this is now our second season to see like this, Let's get as much done as we can now so that when spring and summer come, it's that much easier to maintain and keep tamed. So yes. we are taking advantage of our very, very mild breeze today, just enough to keep a fire going. And we lit a small one right here that we're just kind of feeding stuff to. Don't want to grow it as big as the ones up there, obviously. But we also didn't want to haul all the stuff up there. So this is our little That's one of the great fire. things about living in the country. You can make a burn pile anywhere and about not have a pristine golf course grass yet. Keyword, yet. <laughs> it won't be everywhere, but there will be certain places that are absolutely off limits for burning. You know what, I'm okay with that because I do want grass. Oh, you miss it now, don't you? I do. It's like we keep moving all the dirt and the rocks and everything around and you miss having like designated yard space. I do. We'll get there. I'm really looking forward to spring and summer this coming year just to see now that we've gotten so much of the undergrowth and nastiness out of the way, see what all this looks like, especially with the visibility up there. It's just, it's really coming along. And as we've talked about, you and I, and probably with you guys, uh, we want to, over the course of time, continue to take down limbs that are lower than need to be, you know? So we went around this tree and we've done it to a multitude of trees out here. Shannon cleared the vines out of that one over there. We'll probably cut some more of those branches off and maybe take out that little tree that really won't stand a chance next to that massive oak. I'm actually okay with that little tree coming down. But you know, the funny thing is, what's the quintessential quote of if you, if you enjoy something that you do, it's not work, or if you enjoy what you do, it's not work. Yeah. This is one of those that pays dividends. You know, you put the effort in, you make it look all nice during the fall and winter time, and it's kind of hard to see the vision, but then comes spring and summer, man it's just it's gonna, gonna pay off yeah and it's gonna keep us from having to do those chores and projects during that time of year when we can utilize the weather for other things absolutely plus i don't need any more of that poison ivy oak sumac stuff that and the thorns are just so much easier to take care oh, of yeah. this time of year yeah yeah i forget how bad the thorns are well i don't know I, i'm gonna see if i can get my leg feeling in the mood to go get the chainsaw and kind of finish you know, I, I cut some of that stuff and got part of the way down until it started to close the curve on my bar. And then I just got dad's tractor and kind of pushed it over and I quit for that day. But I'm just, I'm really not feeling it. So I'm going to stay. Hey, uh, <laughs> what do we always say, tell everybody? We say. We always say. You can't stop me. I'm just going to keep going. That's not what we say. I'm going to get One everything done today. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. There's always tomorrow or the next day. It's going to be okay if you don't get everything done today. I've never had to actually rest from physical, like, you know, land work. and. Kyle's showing his age. Just kidding. I'm older than him. <laughs> <laughs> She's not kidding about that. I am feeling it, though. We're learning. We're learning. But We're it's getting there. taking a toll on us from time to time, so we have to kind of shift gears and change our plans. And sometimes... It's okay to not work as physically hard as I possibly can, right? Yes. That's what I'm telling myself. <clears throat> that is right. So we're gonna keep cleaning up a little bit and we'll go look, I wanna show you guys, it's amazing. I love fire. Fire is the most amazing thing in the world to make things just disappear. So we'll go back up to the top of the hill. I was hoping we'd have some golden hour and the sunlight coming through, but the overcast moved in. It's still gonna be pretty. And guess what? We'll take you back up there whenever the sun is coming through the trees. Yeah. And I'll let you see it again. But it's gonna look just burning things makes such a big difference oh though. absolutely yeah it just opens it up 
and I know it's hard if they don't see it every single day like you and I do, but you know, you move that one log that was just sitting there staring at you all ugly, kind of just sticking up out of the ground, and it makes a big difference. It does. And maybe it's just psychological. Well, we know. see it every day. Yeah. I do love days like this. Something that's not as pressing. It's just something we really want to do to make it easier on ourselves in the future and enjoy the views. I think it looks pretty fantastic. These are the things that most people don't notice, but we notice. Like the oh. fact that there was a massive pile right there and one right here past my firewood pile? Yeah. 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 It just and cleans up the whole look up there. I did a bunch of stuff that was down here growing, and it just it makes did. a big difference. It looks wonderful. Isn't fire fascinating? It is. This makes such a big difference up here, being able to see all the way out there. Yeah. This is like one of our favorite views. I can't say that the camera does it justice. And this is where I was talking about of an evening where that sun starts to set, especially in the winter time. It's about over here. As that sun's coming through those trees and just lights all this up, oh, it is beautiful. And I'm not sure if we've told you, maybe we have, I don't know, a lot of videos, but right where we're standing, right here, that's where we come out of the trail with the dogs. But this is the highest point topographically by elevation on our land from about where I'm at that way another 60 70 yards or so so this is kind of our long-term goal we want to build up the hill if and when we get a different well because that one is not sufficient for extended living but this is kind of where we want to think about building we want to have some of our support buildings and everything down there coming up the hill and then this view, I am very pleased. I've been wanting to burn these piles and see what it looks like without them up here for a while. Me too. <laughs> what do you think? I think I said this earlier. I don't know if I said it on camera, but I was standing looking around. It is so peaceful out here. And it's days like today and moments like this that you just kind of sit back and appreciate what you have and God's beauty. Yeah. Oh, and note to the viewers, all of this down here, no, that was not fire getting away from us. That was controlled burning of our leaves. We raked gaps in the leaves so that it could not continue beyond where we wanted. And we knew we had rocks and greenery and stuff up here that are going to keep it. Plus, we stayed up here with it to make sure it wasn't going to go too far. Yeah, I mean, you can't burn awesome fires like that and not enjoy them. <laughs> Looks great, babe. I'm very excited. Me too. All right, well, let's go check on the driveway fire and then call it good. Sounds good. Well, today was one of those unscripted, didn't go how you planned it day, but we still made the best of it. We got a lot done and we're going to keep trucking forward. Hey guys, well, guess what? We love and appreciate each and every one of you. And we cannot tell you how much we enjoy going through the comments, having the premieres with you. And any, anytime we get to interact with you, it just means everything to us. So thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.